Women in Canada have responsibilities that often go unrecognized. We have a responsibility to each other and to women around the world to advance the status of women wherever and whenever we can. And we can't always wait for the opportunity. Sometimes we have to create it ourselves. Throughout my life, I've been grateful to have worked with some incredible women in pursuit of that goal. As a university student, I saw firsthand how sexual assault survivors are often overlooked and dismissed by the justice system. Will the Prime Minister join me and support this bill that requires mandatory sexual assault training for lawyers who want to become judges? The courage of survivors to come forward must be met with a fair and responsive justice system. My career in public office began when I was named the youngest female cabinet minister in the history of our country. Prior to that moment, only 42 women had ever served in cabinet in Canadian history. I did my best to earn that honour, not just for myself, but for every Canadian woman who must work up the courage to take part in public life. Together, a group of courageous young girls and I brought the United Nations International Day of the Girl into reality. It all started about six years ago when I was at the United Nations and I met these amazing girls. It's a day that is now celebrated every October all over the world. I was proud to champion the rights of Indigenous women living on First Nations reserves to finally have the same property rights as other Canadian women. We shined a spotlight on the plight of women and girls around the world who suffer through the most horrific kinds of persecution and sexual violence. He has power to use to bring these girls to Canada, so I ask him again, when is he going to take action and help these girls? And successfully fought to have more of them brought to safety in Canada. And we're working now for sexual assault survivors in Canada, helping them have more confidence in a Canadian justice system that has too often let them down. Being now the youngest woman to serve as leader of the official opposition and the leader of a major Canadian political party is an incredible honour. But I know that I won't have these titles forever. So I've been determined to use this opportunity to advance the cause of women, not just here at home, but around the world to live up to the responsibility many of us have as Canadian women. We are capable of anything we put our minds to. I will always believe that.